who have the potential to see some record warm tomorrow. I'm forecasting a high of 55 degrees. That would tie the record of 55 back in 1982. Yes, that was another El Nino year. But with the warm air comes a strong warming wind overnight tonight. Those wind gusts will start to ramp up tomorrow. We may see wind gusts topping 30 miles an hour at times. Nothing on storm form max yet. But again, down to the south, that's where the real heat is. That's where a lot more spin is in the atmosphere as well. So portions of Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia and Arkansas even outlined in a moderate risk for strong to severe storms tomorrow. We're just going to be looking at a chance for some regular run of the mill thunderstorms in December just because we've got another warm front on the way and that's going to add a bit more moisture, add a bit more heat. And of course, as that swings through, but mainly between about 11 a.m. and about 4 p.m., that's the best chance to see some heavier rain. And yes, the chance for some thunderstorms. The severe weather should stay south of us, but again, definitely could see some thunder as well as some lightning in December. Notice the backside of this storm system, though, bringing a swath of snow from western Wisconsin through the Twin Cities down through portions of western Iowa. So if you have any travel plans there, keep in mind you might see a white Christmas if you're headed to grandma's house out to the west. High pressure slides on in though for your Christmas Eve and that's going to bring in some sunshine by Thursday afternoon and on Friday we'll be looking at a lot more sunshine in our forecast. As far as white Christmas that you got to go to the north and to the west. Generally one to two inches potentially from Minneapolis through Superior up to the north. Maybe a few spots with an isolated three inches there for us here. Way too warm for that. We're talking about a half an inch to even three quarters of an inch or more of rain during that rain event tomorrow. But the good news is tomorrow is just the wettest day out of the forecast. We are going to be looking at much better travel conditions for Thursday and Friday. Tonight, though, 38 degrees with increasing temps. We'll be talking 40s by the mornings. Could see some patchy drizzle or some patchy fog. Then tomorrow, 55 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms. Again, a half an inch to three quarters of an inch or even higher amounts than that. If you're traveling off to the east, looking at 60s from Detroit down through Indianapolis, 30s off to the west for snow showers again from the Dakotas through Minnesota, Minneapolis and into western Wisconsin. That will eventually taper off on Thursday for us here. Partly cloudy skies on your Christmas Eve, then mostly sunny skies and a high of 41 on Christmas Day. And really Christmas Day is a great day to travel across the region because mm. there's not going to be any big systems at least affecting the Midwest. Then we get into your Saturday looking at more rain showers in the forecast, but then we kind of dry out a little bit on Sunday. Could see a bit of a wintry mix. Monday and into Tuesday. Tomorrow's weather, weather kid is definitely dressed, though, for the weather. 